Yo guys, what is up? This is Zero X Vault, and today I have a video on some of the uh, upgrades from week one that you guys may not know about. Um, so let's get into it, I guess. Um, starting us off, we have a player that will be very good for starting side. It's High Sage from Napoli in the Serie A. He's a non-rare, and I mean, looking at his stats, they look pretty good for like a starting non-rare like team or something like that. I'm not really sure what to say about this card. Um, so yeah. Next we have Jesse Lingard. I, I personally wouldn't use him, but he is uh, still a silver non-rare. He's had position change. He's now got 80 pace, which, uh, which is quite good, I guess. Um, so, don't really have much more to say about Jesse Lingard. He's been doing pretty well in the Premier League, I guess. We also have Saiz next. I have no idea how to say his name. Um, yeah, he's got massive upgrades on dribbling and shooting, but I, I wouldn't use him. So, moving on. We have Hella. He looks like an absolute beast with 93 pace, 77 dribbling and 70 shooting on a silver card. And yeah, I, I would definitely use him. Definitely give him a go. He would be absolutely rapid, I'm sure. Another player that uh, might be very good for starting teams is this guy, Lucas Castro in the Serie A. I mean, he looks like he'll be very cheap and, you know, just use him in your starter squads. Like, build up to getting them better players, I guess. Uh, as will this guy be very good for uh, starter scores, it is Alvaro from BBVA. He's had an upgrade of plus 11 in physical. It's pretty insane, I think. A lot of players in these upgrades haven't had like, major increase in stats at all. But another upgrade we have is Pogba's older brother, Florentin. Uh, strangely placed for a, a different nationality, but he looks very good. 85 physical, 77 defending, 69 pace. Looks very, very usable. This guy you might know about, it's Slimani. He plays in the Portuguese league and he's been ripping it up. Scoring loads of goals. And a fact about this guy is that now he's got this upgrade, his uh, newest in form has 91 physical. This guy, Hugo Almeida, is next. Uh, he plays for Hanover in the Bundesliga. He doesn't look that appealing, I'm not going to lie, but... Uh, well, he's had a plus 10 upgrade in his pace, and he's got 93 strength, so if you want to give him a try, I guess, go for it. I don't I don't really have much to say about this guy. Kennedy is next, Chelsea player. He's had a pretty massive upgrade on, like, every stat, and he looks very, very good. He's, he's had a position conversion as well. If you have three-star skills, I would definitely consider using him, but until he gets that three-star skill upgrade, I don't really want him on my team, to be honest. Uh... But either way, he does look pretty good. So, moving on. This guy, I just put in here because he did get an upgrade. Plus 5 to 75 overall. He's had a plus 10 pace upgrade. And he plays for, I think it's Gymnastic in Liga Adelante. He looks pretty terrible. I'm not going to deny it. But, well, he's got an upgrade, I guess. Um, next we have Ingolo Calante. Uh, the less kid that seems to keep on running for, for days and days. He looks like an amazing non-rare card. And how has he, how has he got medium-medium work rate? This kid could literally like play a game and then run a marathon and you wouldn't get tired. That's not even exaggerating. Next we have Carcella Gonzalez. I, have, I don't really have much to say about this guy either. I mean, I, I don't know anything about him. He's got 4 star skills, 8-3 pace, 8-3 dribbling. And he, he'll probably be pretty cheap, so if you want to use him, go ahead, I guess. But I, I don't really have anything to say about this guy either. Fabian Johnson's next. You can finally use this guy as left winger instead of like a left wing back or something because he's now got 66 shooting, an upgrade of like 12 or 13, I believe. And yeah, he doesn't look bad at all. Like, he doesn't look that bad. I, I don't use him. His Bundesliga teammate, well, Bundesliga rival, I guess, is next. Jonathan Tarr. He's been upgraded from a silver to a gold. And if I'm correct, he has like strength in the 90s so he looks pretty pretty beastly i would go use him philip volscheid is next stoke player i haven't really seen him do that much this season but well i mean he's got an upgrade he doesn't look that good but i mean he's there anyway as he is as like that's the case for a lot of these players yeah that's philip volscheid i guess next we have cancello and this is a case of another another case of where upgrades to make a player very much usable. 84 pace this guy's got now. He had 77 or something like that before and he was a silver. Um, 
But yeah, he actually looks very good for like an another starting team player. And he's good for hybrids. He's Portuguese as well. And finally, we have Tom Heaton. Burnley keeper from the championship. I don't know. What more can you say? Nothing really more to be said about this guy. So, yeah. That, that's all. So that is a team of upgrades you guys may not have known about. Uh, hopefully, you go, hopefully you can go and use some of these cards. So, without further ado, hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you later.